in Gazahara Mpo Taba. Good day, good day everyone. Um, I'm not sure if it's a, it's a day to be good on for me. It's been a hellish three weeks. I need sleep. Um, as already being mentioned, uh, I am Zahara's other half. Um, I just want to share a fond memory of how we met and put things in a bit of um, perspective. I met her many moons ago and um, from the first night that we met, we shared deep intimate conversations as I was not in a good space of mind myself. And after that, she somehow got hold of my number from a friend. And she reached out. And she was like, Puti, Sazo Tetapel. And then I was skeptical at first. I was like, um, What business do I have with celebrities? But she was not speaking from a place of the, the pedestal that she was at at the time. It was a very human and real place. Um, she said she was going to say this on our wedding day, that I stood her up three times. Um, on the third... I made various excuses um, the last time, the third excuse, um, there was such some bad weather, there was rain, and um, I saw on one of my friend's statuses uh, there was a flood somewhere, and then I asked my friend, please send me that, uh, that, that video. And then my friend was like, um, okay, she didn't ask questions. And I was like, hey, I, I, I sort of like shared to say what was happening, but she didn't know who I was referring to. And I told her that um, I don't want to be a bag of weed. So, yeah, she sent me that video and I took that video and I forwarded it to Zahara. And I told her, yo, I can't drive from Pretoria. There's bad weather everywhere and the roads are flooding. And she never responded for about a week. And then that's when um, I realized that, wait a minute, maybe something is happening here. And then I'm the one who reached out. And then the tables have turned. And it was, yeah, it was, we had to, yeah. But we did it anyway. I'm not here to spill the beans. I was part of her very human and real side of her. I know a lot of things. I know her mind. I know emotions. I know her naked frailties. I know everything. But there's no time now to say all of that. So um, the other thing. <clears throat> She, 
we used to communicate one of, as part of our intimacy. I used to write her very long messages, giving her that constant reassurance, giving her confidence, giving her love, giving her hope. And um, I think I, I, I am that person who behaves like a thinker. What I um, produce in my mind, I put it down on paper. And she would say to me, you know what, baby, I, I, I love what you say. But the, uh, this long text of your Ziyang Yidika, like... <laughs> so I know she was raised, lazy to read, so I sort of like started recording myself, voice notes, videos. Canada um, for two months it was a very long wait considering the circumstances I was even considering to put myself back on the market but yeah I, I was very um, patient with her I knew every day half past two in the morning I must wake up and I must speak to her on a video call until four in the morning when I prepare for work and then after my first meetings, that would be around nine o'clock, I would speak to her again on a video call because it was probably around midnight during the time in Canada and we'd speak for those few hours. Um, we were constantly on the phone and all of that stuff. The first person she would call when she wakes up every day was me. Whether she was in a bad mood or whether she was in a good mood and, or whatever the case might be. But then I had to bear the brunt for all of that. Um, I don't want to be too long. I'm a very shy person. I'm going to share this letter, the last love letter that I wrote. To my dearly departed love, words fail me. The void you have imposed on me has immeasurable depth. What brood skepticism and questions as well as iniquity to those who felt like they held a high moral ground to the institution of love, inadvertently led to the inception of a love so strong of adoration, affection, fondness, attachment, passion, infatuation, care, devotion, and all things warm and fuzzy. I will forever cherish all the moments I got to spend with you. When we first met, you took me out of a deep, dark place, and you restored my faith in love again. You never judged me harshly, but rather cautioned and counseled me. And thereafter, um, you decided to keep me for yourself. If it were up to you, you'd probably be living under my skin right now. So many plans, so many fond memories, however, fate decreed otherwise. On behalf of the kids, Kiamoretu and Kamorelo, we will forever love you. And on me, I will, I will search for you through 1,000 worlds and 10,000 lifetimes until I find you.